guys, what's going on? It's Oregon Motorcycle bringing you another episode today. It's Saturday morning. I've got my buddy Brandon behind me in tow on his BMW 310GS. Do me a favor if this is your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 6,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And we're, we might do it, barely do it, but I need you guys' help. Do that. If you guys are liking my content, hit that like button. So uh, yeah, we're going to the BMW dealership today and we're gonna get this uh, 310 uh, unlocked, I guess you could say. We didn't know that it had a governor on it. So, and this guy's been doing nothing but crying about the power since he's got the bike. So we're gonna unlock, unleash like probably 50 horsepower today on this thing. <laughs> and uh, so it should be pretty exciting. Stay tuned for that. There it is right there, the nice little beamer. Oh, and I put my GoPro on his bike too, so he can say hi to you guys if if he wants or whatever. So, um, tell me your most favorite thing about this bike. You kidding me, dude? You don't have any favorites? Nothing? Nothing you like about that bike? I like that it's flickable. It's uh, it's stable. And you never get that. You never get those two things in a bike. Stable and flickable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I noticed the same thing when I rode it too. That's, that's, uh, and that's, the gear, uh, the gearbox is the best gearbox I've ever okay. had on a bike. Okay. I can probably agree with that too. And that's the, that's some of that BMW quality that you're going to see on these machines that you won't see on bikes like mine and, and a Yamaha, for instance, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, um, all right, what's what do you what do you hate about it? Um, I hate that it's not a super bike. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a completely different class. Is that a legit, legitimate hate? Kinda, yeah. We're gonna turn. I mean, uh, the thing is, is it's a good bike for what it is. I just want something. I like that raw power feeling, yeah, and I like a cool. bike that has. Uh, you have to really push it to get to the limits and this isn't that bike this is a bike that's really fun to go on dirt roads things like that true oh actually you know the, the thing that i hate the most about it is that you have to take it to bmw to get that stupid service light turned off yeah so that's that's guys that's really what we're going here for is to get the service engine light off or whatever it is it's not a service engine it's a service due and uh, so change the oil and stuff and then they want you to go and so they can do that. But at the same time, they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna unlock it because there is in fact a governor on there um, for break-in periods. And uh, so yeah, be interesting to see if this bike transforms at all. It'll probably just be transformed on the top, so. Anyways, we're on our way to BMW. We're gonna check out some of the bikes there. Hopefully they let me in. I don't have an official appointment. He has an appointment, but if I can get in, hopefully I get to see a new uh, 2020 S1000 Double R. What a machine that bike would be. You know, I always say that would be my pick if I bought a sports bike, if I had, you know, unlimited budget, but I think in all honesty, I would get a V2. I really like that V2. I think it's a really good mix. But that new Aprilia 650, that's a pretty awesome bike too, but that's not like a top tier bike. So should we tell him the secret that you're going to sell it? I don't care. Okay guys, he doesn't care. So the bike's for sale. Um, and I guess that's it. So this is a really good bike. How many miles are on it? Like 1100, 1200 miles? Uh, yeah, it's 1200 now. Yeah, it's like brand new bike basically. He got the crash bars put on it. He's got the, those are uh, bark busters. And he's got the, the shields for him too. He just hasn't put them on yet. And what are you asking for it? Uh, five three or something like that. Five, three. But and what's the homie hook? I'm actually trying to get four nine. So four nine? Are you asking yeah. five three? All right. If I had just enough money laying around, I would buy that and add it to the stable. I really like that bike. I would. If I had that bike, I'd probably ride it to work more often than I rode this one. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's just—it's a cool little bike. Dude. I like it. It looks really good. It makes it looks like begging to be jumped like I want to jump it 
Yeah, it needs a little bit more nope. money into it to actually make it great. It needs different tires. That would yeah. drastically increase the performance. I think maybe uh, a new chain and sprocket. Oh, we're supposed but to turn we'll there. We'll see what we'll see what you know what happens after I get the governor turned off. Yeah, it's tiny. It wasn't that tiny. Shut up. It's an amateur hour. Shut up, fool. Put them I should. Thanks. Morning. Morning. Oh, we're supposed to put on our masks. Whatever, we got a helmet on, dude. We're good. I have mine on. I don't have mine on. Oh, it's a uh, uh, 310. This is nice. Mm -hmm. I got a red 310 in here. Hi. Morning. Morning. Ten o'clock, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Dude, my, my center was off the whole time. Oh. It. All right. All right, guys. Sometimes when mine's not working, it's like you need to reset yours. Yeah, I know. No, I had mine off the whole time. I didn't even know. So, all right, guys. We're leaving the BMW dealership. Awesome experience. And um, Britt in here, he got brand new calipers front and rear. There was a recall on there. So, he got his brake lines flushed, brand new calipers. Got the, re the service engine or the service light reset. And they unlocked the governor on the bike. So, it is time for some mega dink nooners. Oh. <laughs> time to know. send it. It's time to send it, bro. All right, let's get, let's get some oh, to eat. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, that sounded That's, pretty responsive. Yeah, it is. Woo, That's much better. Doggy. All right. That is much better. Huh. 
What do you know? All right, okay guys, the bike's not I for sale. I can actually go past Red Line now. <laughs> the bike is actually not for sale. We were joking earlier. All right, let's go. All right, go. you lead the way because uh, you're more I'm just gonna and just go home without using the freeways and we'll get closer somewhere. If you want to eat in Oregon City or you want to eat somewhere else. I don't know, there's a nice place in Oregon City. Let's go but, this way. Uh, if you find some place that looks good, but I'm looking mainly for breakfast. Yeah, I still can't really pop up a wheelie all that great. What the f is this mess? What? Let's hop on the freeway for a sec. We'll get right back off. Give you a chance to wrap it out. What's cracking here? Want to eat outside or? Yeah, we'll see what's up. I don't know, whatever you want. Looks like we can eat inside too. <laughs> Hi. 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 Up to you. Okay. It's a nice place. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice joint here, but. We walked in, looked at the menu, and now we're walking back out because there's it's all vegan. So there's no eggs or bacon or or nothing and I kinda wanted maybe some eggs and bacon or something. Oh, what's that right there? Looks good to me. You wanna hit that place? Sure. Okay, let's turn it right here. Um why not just right in front? We can cross the street. Maybe not. Well, I was saying we could park by those bike lockers right there on the yeah, sidewalk. Yeah, let's do that. On the sidewalk? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we stopped here. There's no breakfast. So we're done. Uh, driving around and looking for stuff. We're getting hungry. So we're headed straight to Oregon City now. And we're gonna go to Biscuits Cafe. Alrighty. You just ran a red light. Are you preaching to this guy, dude? I just stating the obvious, that's all. Like you are you are the like last person to lecture anybody <laughs> about running a red light. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, like I'm good, but I have a ticket for that, don't I? Like my only motorcycle tickets for running a red light. It's so dude, dude. Just wait, all this technology, dude, it's gonna fuck you over. They're just gonna like automatically issue a citation every time you do it. Man. You could be all GPS tracking oh, you and gotta, shit. Gotta turn at the next light here. Alright. No dude, that light is bullshit. It's still bullshit. Every morning I go through it, I just confirm that it's bullshit. It's on at the wrong times. There's no traffic. And motorcycles shouldn't have to stop where the traffic flows. Look at all those people just parked like lately. Sushi. Anyone here a Volkswagen? to do that now that you told me about the kickstand i jinxed you huh so i definitely don't want the frame to break that would suck biscuits cafe we just had some grub here it's pretty good i recommend stopping here if you guys are in the oc area i know there's some more this is a chain actually so that's a good breakfast it's the first time i've eaten here before it's a little past breakfast time but i don't know so what's the verdict on that thing does it pull better wheelies now I hope. It just wraps really. out higher? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the post office real quick while we're here. Fuck. Oh, and check my post office box right quick. It's right across the street. Yeah, I came here the other day and some nice lady gave me an envelope. Oh, em Free. 
A manila envelope? No, just a regular envelope. <clears throat> oh. I got a package, but they it must be f***ing big because it's not in the locker. So I have to come back, I guess, on Monday and get it. You don't want to go hit the parking lot or what? Huh? You don't want to go hit the parking lot or what? No. Yeah. There's nothing that's parking lot practice related with this bike that would interest me. You just want to go home? That's what I'm doing. You can do what you want. I know, I can. And she got a buttload of pizzas there. Jeez. Well, guys, we're going to end it there today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Cruising around, hit the BMW dealership, trying to find some breakfast and all that stuff. We got the BMW 310 GS unlocked, ready to wrap out. And like I said, if you guys are interested in this bike, you guys are in the Portland area, you might be able to buy it maybe. I don't know. This guy's so undecided. I don't know if he wants to sell it or not. So it just depends what, what time of the day it is. So, <laughs> But anyways, guys, until next time, Oregon Motorcycle. Huh? Stop by and see if Hans is home. We'll take the... I think I'm going to cruise on home. Why? Because I'm just ready to go home. What are you going to do? You're just going to sit in your room and do nothing. You just said you were bored. I don't care. What are you doing? Oh, you're going the back route? You tell him he's entertaining a guest. He doesn't want you around. Whatever. He doesn't want your smelly Honda around his uh, BMW farm. Get out of my <laughs> way so I can pull in there. <laughs> Go forward. Pull Why up in there. Why don't you just turn? I can't. Ha <laughs> ha.